Good morning, everyone. This is Carl F. Rose recording live from Bedford, Pennsylvania on Monday, June 4th, 2018. And uh, today we're going to just, I'm just going to do a brief little uh, uh, Detroit Tigers update. Uh, this was a little uh, sooner than I expected. I was going to do one around uh, the All Star break, but uh, I just want to get into this because you'll get into that uh, right after this. Good morning, everyone. This is Carl F. Rose recording live from Bedford, Pennsylvania, uh, Monday, June 4th, 2018. And today, just want to talk a little bit about the uh, Detroit Tigers. As I said in the intro, I was going to wait until the uh, All Star break to do an update. But um, considering the way things are going, and especially after the goose incident, um, uh, the, the Tigers are doing a lot better than I expected, and they're doing a lot better than they were last year. Last year at this time, they basically dug them, so they were in a hole that they couldn't um, get themselves out of. Uh, I like the direction they're going under Ron Gardenhire, and as you can see, they are, you know, they're 28 and 31. I expect them to be around, somewhere around the 500 mark by the end of the season, and probably not in the playoffs. Uh, but I mean, this time last year, they weren't even this good. I mean, they were uh, really the worst team in baseball. Um, I like the direction Ron Hart Garden Hires going with them. Um, even though they lost yesterday, they're still only two and a, two point five games uh, behind the Cleveland team. Um, the, the, the big, the big problem, the big problem area they have is, and I think Ron Garden Hire will get this. Is there? A, see they're 19 and 13 at home that's good they're 9 and 18 away and I know Ron Gardner is, is looking that uh, they improved this away record and you can see that the last 10 games are 7 and 3 so they they consistently stay in the 6 and 4 or the 7 and 3 range in the, the under the last time they're going to be in good shape but they really need their area they really need to play better on the road uh, 9 and 18 uh, uh, that's not going to cut it um, uh, their pitching is uh, doing uh, uh, surprisingly well um, uh, their starters are are doing fairly good uh, their, their middle relief and closer. I'm really not sold on green yet, but um, he is doing the job. It's actually fun watching the, the Tigers lately, this year anyway. Even on the games they lose, for the most, most part, they're still in it. Uh, not so much yesterday, um, but um, they're doing they're doing pretty good. Uh, they've got a doubleheader tonight against the Yankees to make up for the rain uh, delays earlier in the year. If they split it, I'm hoping for a split. Um, getting swept will really, will really be a blow to them. But if they split, that'll be that'll be okay because you go up here, you look at the Yankees. I mean, the Yankees are just lighting it up. Um, so, uh, but it is at home. It is at Tiger Stadium. So, but they're they're playing a team that's 37 and 17 and the. Tigers are 28 and 31, so it's going to be, Yankees are tough, uh, one of the best teams in baseball, so we'll just have to wait and see, um, but I do like the direction they're going, uh, again, I figured this is going to be where they're going to be hovering by, by the, the year's end, but, but who knows, um, I believe um, this manager, Gardenhire, I was really excited when they, when they uh, fired Osmus and they picked him up. I was really stoked to see them get this guy because I saw what, how he did and he turned around the twins. Um, so uh, I don't expect anything overnight, but for what he's been doing in the short period of time has just been absolutely amazing. And I hope they can continue uh, this trend. And who knows? Um, they're in. The, they're in it. Um, they just need to keep fighting and keep clawing and. and most of the, a lot of their wins are coming with people, with, with some of their best people um, on the DL. So, 
Um, he's winning. He's getting ways for this team to win when they uh, when they don't have their best uh, units out there. He's getting them to win, and uh, I don't know what he's telling them. I don't know if it's the goose, but uh, let's just uh, hope it continues and um, uh, let's see him kick it up a notch and, and get over the 500 mark. And uh, you know, let's hope for the best. Um, it's going a lot better than I thought. So anyway, that was just my brief updates on that. I'm excited to see where the Tigers are at, and uh, let's uh, hope for some improvement. Maybe they, they'll get the division. Who knows? Uh, later. Have a good day.